Hello, dear brothers and sisters. Thank you for joining our Mother and Refuge of the End Times. We would like to share with you a message of God the Father to Gisela Cardia, a visionary who bears the stigmata. Our Lady began appearing to her in 2016 after Gisela visited Medjugorje and a statue of the Gospa and other images began weeping blood. Many have witnessed the miracle of the Son during the apparitions, much like at Fatima, and indeed one of her books of messages was just granted a Nihilopstat for its Polish translation. Let us begin with St. Francis's prayer asking for wisdom, discernment, and guidance. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Most High, Glorious God, enlighten the darkness of our minds, Give us a right faith, a firm hope, and a perfect charity. Fill us, Lord, with understanding and knowledge, so that we may always and in all things act according to your holy will. Amen. On March 10th, 2022, God the Father said, I, your Father, am here to remind you that I love you all. Do not be afraid. My son was the first to be caught and called a heretic by the forefathers of the church. On a translator's note, the quote forefathers here refers to the religious authorities of Jesus' day, not the fathers of the church in the sense of the patristic period. God the Father continues. So what is it that you fear? Do not be afraid. He has conquered death, and I will be with you always. Why do you not understand? Because mankind does not understand that I love you all. And as Father, I feel the duty to be by your side, protecting you. As your Father, I will protect you before all those who will call you heretics. Do not worry. See how everything will collapse. Your refuge will be ready for that time. I am arranging everything so that when Mary Most Holy tells you that it is time to go, you should go to the Blue Cross, the Blessed Hill of Trevignano Romano, and there you will never be touched because I have personally sanctified that place. Do not worry. Let go of human things and have faith. Everything will be fulfilled according to my plan. The angels in the place blessed by me will protect you and make you safe. They will make you invisible and I will not leave you lacking for anything. I am a good father, but I am a just father. I love you, my children. I love you so much. Do not be afraid. Do not fear. All that you will have will be by my grace alone. I leave you now, your father. Amen. A commentary by Mark Mallet. Why does the Father promise refuges for his people in this present and coming tribulation? What makes this period of distress different from the past? The answer is the global nature of what is taking place. With a far-reaching surveillance state that through satellites can monitor every square inch of the Earth. On a side note, Bill Gates-backed startup Earth Now will provide real-time video of almost anywhere on the planet. Mark Mallet continues, To the globalist agenda, which is nothing but a new form of communism that is corralling every single person on the planet, the entire Earth is under the oppression of this, quote, beast. And of it, St. John wrote, Who can compare with the beast, or who can fight against it? Revelation 13, verse 4. In the visions of the night I saw a fourth beast, terrifying, horrible, and of extraordinary strength. It had great iron teeth, with which it devoured and crushed, and it trampled with its feet what was left. It differed from the beasts that preceded it. It had ten horns. Daniel 7, verse 7. In other words, without God's providence, the church would disappear altogether. The idea of refuges or solitudes also appears in tradition, beginning with the scriptures themselves. 
In 1 Maccabees chapter 1, verses 44 to 53, we read, The king sent messengers to prohibit holocausts, sacrifices, and libations in the sanctuary. Many of the people, those who abandoned the law, joined them and committed evil in the land. Israel was driven into hiding, wherever places of refuge could be found. Indeed, early church father Lactantius foresaw refuges at a future time of lawlessness. From his The Divine Institutes, Book 7, Chapter 17, we read, That will be the time in which righteousness shall be cast out, and innocence be hated, in which the wicked shall prey upon the good as enemies. Neither law, nor order, nor military discipline shall be preserved. All things shall be confounded and mixed together against right, and against the laws of nature. Thus the earth shall be laid waste, as though by one common robbery. When these things shall so happen, then the righteous and the followers of truth shall separate themselves from the wicked and flee into solitudes. Of course, some might argue that hiding is different than God's provision of an actual refuge. However, St. Francis de Sales affirms that there will be providential places of protection during the persecutions of Antichrist. In his book, The Mission of the Church, chapter 10, number 5, St. Francis de Sales says, The revolt, or revolution, and separation must come. The sacrifice shall cease, and the Son of Man shall hardly find faith on earth. All these passages are understood of the affliction which Antichrist shall cause in the Church. But the Church shall not fail, and shall be fed and preserved amidst the deserts and solitudes to which she shall retire, as the Scripture says in Apocalypse chapter 12. In Revelation 12, verse 14, we read, The woman was given the two wings of the great eagle, so that she could fly to her place in the desert, where, far from the serpent, she was taken care of for a year, two years, and a half year. The preeminent place of refuge given to us by God is in the Immaculate Heart of Mary. On June 13, 1917, Our Lady of Fatima said to the children, My Immaculate Heart will be your refuge and the way that will lead you to God. And in Elizabeth Kindleman's book, The Flame of Love, she relates how Jesus told her, My mother is Noah's Ark. And Our Lady is the icon and model of living in the divine will through her own fiat and the one entrusted to lead us into the kingdom of the divine will. In her first volume, Servant of God Luisa Picaretta recalls how Jesus said to her, The divine justice imposes chastisements, but neither these nor God's enemies get close to those souls who live in the divine will. Know that I will have regard for the souls who live in my will, and for the places where these souls reside. I place the souls who live completely in my will on earth in the same condition as the blessed in heaven. Therefore, live in my will and fear nothing. Brothers and sisters, let us answer our Heavenly Mother's request to share heaven's messages far and wide. Please share, like, subscribe, and click on the little bell so that you may be notified of the latest heavenly messages as they come in. Finally, our Lord said, For where two or three have gathered together in my name, I am there in their midst. We would so love for you to join us in praying the way of the cross along with fellow viewers from around the world in our channel's 24-7 live Lenten prayer cenacle to console the heart of Jesus and to pray for the salvation of all souls in these difficult times. May God bless you and keep you.